Here's to another fine day's work. Cheers, just finished work at my bus. Just, just finished you, work, yeah. Got your bit of business sorted out. Yep. And then we're back on the boat. We had a good day today, been out with uh, with Mark on his boat. You probably saw the video a bit earlier. And uh, it's been grey and windy today, it may even rain. I know. Which is unusual for Spain in July. But it'll uh, be August soon and uh, forecast for the rest of the week is hot, hot and hot. So it's just tonight, it's just tonight, it was just a weird day today, it wasn't very... I've got this light, got this new light. It's been really nice actually to have overcast, it's been lovely. As long as it's not going to do it, you know, we haven't arrived at the winter, and that's that's it. You know, from flaming oh, no, no, hot no. to freezing cold. No, we've got August to go, yeah. So I always thought August was hotter than July, but no. Fiona claimed that July was... Anyway, we looked it up in the statistics, and she's right. July yeah. is generally hotter than August. Just that we were always usually really double busy in August yeah. at Safari and we're running around like blue ass flies. Oh, Safari has And it was hot and safari I always just hell, yeah. subconsciously thought August was the hottest month, but it's not. But the ground warms it's hot. up. The ground is heated for August, so you yeah, yeah. feel like it, it's hotter and then September is still suffocating. Really. Yeah. Van Man today, Van Man Mark from Brighton. A oh, shout yeah. out to Mark from Brighton. Van Man Talks. He was talking about all kinds of stuff. <coughs> he said he left his water bills eighty pounds a month. Right. Eighty pounds a month. That's ridiculous. How much is our water? Bill? Um, on the boat, not much. I mean, in um, the house. Hmm. We don't pay it monthly. We pay. Um, Oh, I don't know. I think about 80 euros a quarter or something like that. It's not very much. But oh. mine was expensive in Brighton and I had a one bedroom flat yeah. and then I had the gas. They wanted £800 a month. I've told you that story loads of times before, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. I never did get a refund on that. Oh, well, never mind, eh? Yeah, I like watching Mark uh, because he drives around Brighton. Hey, yeah, and there's yeah. no traffic. Well, it was early. I did notice that it was really early. It was seafront as well. And uh, I thought, there's no traffic. What's going on here? But it was Saturday morning and it was quite early. So, Because nice. usually it was just gridlock. The whole thing, you know, my mother lived in Portslade and we lived in Brighton Marina. Yeah. Which is not far by car, but it took over an hour sometimes because it was just so gridlocked. Mm. And it was ridiculous. ridiculous. Over an hour? I remember it took two hours and 58 minutes on one particular day. Two hours and 58 minutes. Because we had to take the kids to school. And the, the, because we were... Oh, I don't think that's complicated. Oh, anyway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, every day could be up to three hours in the locked in traffic. But the traffic's all gone in Brighton now. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about this new government. They should need to get a grip of this. They need to get a grip of that. I've always said the water, the water, the local council, you know, getting rid of uh, garbage. I mean, that is that is a must, absolute must. They should never charge money for rubbish. Now, when we lived in Holland, we were speaking to some Dutch people and they said, oh, there's big money in, in rubbish. The, 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 the Dutch government... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why shouldn't they charge for rubbish? Who's going to pay the bin men and how is it going to be paid for if no one pays for it? No, well, they, they used to charge you money when you go the tip. They said, oh, you got, how much rubbish you got? Oh, I charge well, you so much. I say no, because, because there's loads of money to be made from rubbish. It depends what sort of The council rubbish. are making all the money from the rubbish. Now, before I was so rudely interrupted... Sorry, but I, I had to make that point because... When we lived in Holland, they said there's big money, so the Dutch government put all these trains on and they put all the rubbish on these trains. The trains all go to one place in Holland, it's called VAM, I think, V A W M. I seem to remember that, but going back about 25 years now. And he said uh, there's got, they've got a big recycling centre there and they recycle everything, everything, you know, as much as possible. Obviously, there's very little that they can't recycle and uh, he said the Dutch government makes, makes loads of money out of it and I even remember from when I was driving a skip lorry for a skip company in Brighton 
we had two kinds you just come and tip your skip in the middle of the floor and there's, there's, there's the guys with the bulldozers and that looking round and they, they separate it into light and heavy heavy would be like bricks and stuff like that which all went through the crusher and then that got sold as hardcore on, you know whatever the pound a ton it was for hardcore big pile of hardcore there ready to be sold and all the light stuff got separated as well you know all your aluminium went in one brass pipes and things lead all different things all got divided up and then whatever was left that was just garbage that all went to the landfill and they had to pay you know by the lorry load to dump it but it shouldn't they shouldn't have to pay it it's so important garbage removal it should be down to the government water and garbage removal should be completely free and you don't get any fly tipping and crap like that because it can just get rid of it it's very important to get rid of your rubbish where do you think the government get their money from or do you think it's the government's money the government get money from all the house owners, it's called rates, right? And then they used to tax people the poll tax years ago. And they, this is all um, local government, and then they send all that money, all that money goes to central governments, and then the central government decide who to, who to whack the money out to. But there's all fines, and there's all kinds of speeding fines, and there's, there's road tax, and there's all kinds of other ways the government screw you for money. <laughs> Television license, you know what I mean? That's that's bollocks, isn't it? For a start, I wouldn't stand for it myself. But what can you do? I'll wager the average bin lorry is probably half a million, a quarter of a million, maybe. They're not cheap, but rubbish re removal. If you didn't remove, you, see, you don't realise. You think, oh, bin men, <laughs> bottom of the ladder. You know what I mean? For professions, but they're not because they do one of the most important jobs in the community because if, if garbage was allowed to pile up if there'd be rats there'd be disease there'd be infection there'd be all kinds you've got to get rid of it and it's down to the government because they're running the country they've got to get rid of the garbage and i would also not just nationalize the water companies i'd nationalize the, the trains the whole trail train network and i'd improve the train network because you've got to have a good infrastructure and if you put all your freight on the train, all those containers on the train whew, can be one end of the country to the other in, in, in no time. But they can't do it at the moment because they've got to go through tunnels and the tunnels are too small. You go to America and look at the rail infrastructure they've got there, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. And so, because Britain invented the trains and put the first train network in, it's too old, it's out of date. And it costs a fortune, obviously, to update it. But that's that's what they need to do. You know, the canal systems, they're, they're, they were great in their day, but they're too slow. And um, the railway is the way to go, especially for, for moving people around. In Germany now, they're, they're, they're giving people um, free bus pass and free, free rides on the train if they give up your car. But none of it's actually free. Well, someone's got to pay for it, of course, but you've got to look at your infrastructure and see how yeah, but you want things to efficiently work. And of course, it's not free. I know it's not free, but it, it, it's that, subsidised. That's, it's that's, subsidized. The that's the trick, isn't it? The, the thing is, I know she wasn't popular in her day, but Maggie ran the country like a housewife. She had a budget and she had expenditure. And she was painfully aware that all the money that the government had came from hard-working people who pay tax. It's just, and my mum used to say this a lot as well, a lot of people say the government should pay this, the government should pay that. But where does the government get the money from? Oh, we'll just give a billion to the Ukraine, here you go, Whee! Well, yeah, you've got a fair point there. Oh, yes. oh, we need some PPE for the, this Covid disease coming on. Oh, well, they're gone now. Whee! Another five billion. So, you know, the money's there, it is available when they need it, so, you know, you need to just focus and think, well, no, I'm not going to give money to you, see, we're getting all political now, I thought we weren't doing politics, we're not, we're not doing well, politics. Well, you've just been telling us all, we're are just you going to run the Graham for Prime Minister? No, no, not at all. Free refuse was, It was all Mark's fault, Mark from Van Man talking, he was going on about it, he got me going today, and I thought, well, yeah, he's right, you know, he should nationalise certain things you shouldn't privatize it because the government's responsible for 
running the country, so you, you, your critical infrastructure has got to be government controlled. The idea of privatisation um, was to alleviate the government and to make it more commercial. And actually the telephones, that worked very nicely, thank you for me, because British Telecom, my phone bills were hideous, because my parents lived in the Outer Hebrides, I'd ring my mum twice a week for about an hour each, and my phone bill was horrific, it was like £600 a month. And then Maggie privatised it, and then that was free enterprise, and the cables were laid, and suddenly when they had competition, the BT phone book went from that to like a little pamphlet. And, and the girl actually said to me once, she said, you're going to get cut off if you don't pay. I said, I can't pay. I need some sort of discount. She said, where else are you going to go? Well, that's all changed when Maggie privatised the phone company. So yeah, yeah. there's a lot to be said I mean, for privatisation. We were all getting ripped off big time. And away. since people have had mobile phones, I mean, who's got a landline anymore? I got arrested for having a mobile phone once because they were—it was cutting edge, and they and said who, who no even such uses thing. mobile phones now. We got WhatsApp. I mean, I'm on the phone to people in Australia and people in, in Dubai and in the UK, America, and it costs nothing. You don't pay anything. I mean, back in the day. You know, you'd be crucified by the, the phone bill for, for talking oh, yeah. to people like that. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was so really that was expensive. a good one. That was a good one to privatise. It was. It was. Um, um, the gas board, I'm not so sure about. I'm not so sure about um, that. I, I think with the utilities, that's worked well because there's a lot of competition and people can switch there. I, I don't really know because I've been out of the country for so long. I never did. I, I just sort of stuck, I think, with British gas. But the phone, the phone, that made a big difference to me. So I liked that. And they, they basically went for privatisation to not only relinquish government of the expense, but to create business and competition. And that was the theory. I don't know what went wrong with the trains. I don't. We used to have one in the south. What was it called? Oh, they were awful. Southern Rail or something like no, that? No, no, it was a French, actually a French company that had it. Oh, there was, it was awful, there was all turds on, on the rail tracks in Brighton Station. The Argus used to take pictures of it and put it on the front oh. page. They never cleaned it and none Foxy of the Foxy will tell you. Yes. Um, Foxy's, we've what, been we watching Foxy's live but we have to go out and come back. There's something the matter with me. I'm Network South or something? Um, no, it was, a, it was like 9X, Connex or something X and it was French a lot of people were getting the power for because the French have got nuclear power stations yeah and they've been selling power to uh, electricity companies in the UK so you can actually get your, your stuff from France until Brexit came along and then you got to pay import duty on your electricity I don't oh, know that it was affected by that I don't, I don't know. know I don't know I've got no idea We've just been watching Foxy, he's got his train simulator going on there. I thought it was real. I, honestly, I wasn't paying close attention. I just looked up and I thought, blooming it! Foxy's managed to persuade a train driver to, let him in to, the to have a live feed from his train. And I was thinking, that looks like daylight. I think it's got to be night time in Brighton. And then, well, I wasn't really paying attention. And then you said, oh, it's his friend who's got um, train, train simulator. Train well, what a brilliant idea. I tell you what, my brother-in-law's banging some trains. He'd love that. He would love that. I wonder if they do steam trains in it. That's really what my brother-in-law loves. He loves the steam. And I love the steam trains, actually. Ben's mate used to play um, lorry simulator. That's right. He used right, to drive yeah. an articulated yeah. lorry all over, all over Europe. Yeah. And he got and his thought... driving licence first time without... He did, yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot to be said for these... I haven't done any flight simulator because my, my VR headset's been acting up. Anyway, enough of that. So what have you got planned for this week? Well, nothing. I'm just to be on standby in case they need me at all. Um, I might do some work on the boat. I've been sleeping an awful lot. Just the heat. Mm. Hiding from the heat. Watching TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Chilling out watched a brilliant film last night 
all about Am the Amityville murders. That was really good. Well, I say last night. I went to bed early and I woke up at 3.15. Okay. And I watched it from then. Then I went back to sleep on the, on the sofa thing. That was really good. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look for film tonight. Sometimes they have full movies on YouTube. And I like that. This is the latest watch. This is a, a Biden. I put a new strap on it today. I got this. The strap costs more than the watch. <laughs> but it's got my. Uh, so I'm really pleased with that. I didn't bits this watch because it was only cheap. I thought I'd take take it to bits and put it in the more expensive case. Nothing fits. Nothing fits. What was that? Is that lightning? Oh my god, yes! Thunderstorm! Oh, it's so exciting! Pink lightning. Pink lightning? Well, that's got to be bad, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got to be it was, bad. It was over there, over Palmonis. Oh, it's so exciting, but it's going that way, it's I It's threatening suppose. to rain overnight, but it's going to get hot again tomorrow, so... Yeah, enjoy the coolness while it lasts. I got eaten oh, by yeah. mosquitoes last night. Well, we bilged the... We filled the bilges with vinegar. That's yeah, driven yeah. them all out because they yeah. like fresh water and um, of course, yeah, they came with a vengeance. I killed three with my bare hands while I was watching that film. One cheeky mother landed on my phone screen, a tiger mozzie, yeah. and I just went, I thought, I hope I haven't commented. Well, I, or... I, I get under the duvet <laughs> and I've got this aerosol can in my hand and I go to sleep and I can hear them go, and I go, oh, no. I get them, I've got them loads of times like that, but last night I woke up and it had bit my hand and I had round the aerosol can. <laughs> got a message from someone, Mark. Oh, right, okay. I'll read that in a minute. Right, I think we're coming to the end, so unless there's anything you want to add. No, maybe you'll get some light. Did you want to tell footage? the people? Loads of people gave you loads of advice on flowers that smell. Thank you. Go through it, the comments. It just depends what they've got in the garden centre, but yes, I will be going through the comments. Car carnations are my favourite, but they only have them at certain times of year. I've got carnations in the garden, but they're not, because they've only got the odd flower at the moment. Yeah. And I've bought some begonias to go in the window boxes <sighs> at the front of the house, which it's searing heat. And I, I mean, everyone else has begonias in their window boxes here. And they survive. My you have to get those tubey things that you put water yeah. in, the constant feed, because it's like an oven in, in, in the front of the house at a certain time I of don't day. know what it is about me and begonias. They hate me. They just die. All their flower, well, they're actually petals, all their colour goes. Then the leaves go, and there's just like a sorry-looking stump. And then we've, that we've, disappears. We've bought loads of flowers over the, over the years and had them in the house, and they've just... Oh, I love begonias. Some of them have survived, but others thrive like mad and survive and they've got colour and I think yeah. get that to them. Mm. Bang them in there. Shh. Bye, yeah. gone. I think everything's going to blow away in a minute. We might get some lightning for this later. Getting up. We might get a lot. Um, if we have a lightning exciting. storm, I'll be sure to film it and bang it up for you. Just to show you. Just to say. So, unless there's anything else you want to add, good night. Thanks for watching and may your God go with you.